Good evening, everyone. This evening we are going to talk about a very simple, very simple subject, but most of us actually miss it. When we don't think about something, that thing does not have any kind of significance at all. Like we never say, thank to God for giving us oxygen, rain, this beautiful world, the garden, the stars and moon and all that. We don't think. That's why we don't say, hey God, you are great. You are just a great that you have given us so many things. Given us the parents, loving brothers and sisters, loving kids, the smile, the happiness, the friends. So when we think, then and then we realize. Actualization comes to us when we think about that, that whatever the whatever we have achieved or we have received, what is the importance of that? What is the significance and the vitality of that will be realized when we seriously think about it. Today's subject is about three very veritable, vital, pivotal, paramount words that we Indians seldom use. I would say very, very seldom we use. And these are the three words in the Western countries are used so frequently, so frequently that they don't use the word God or Jesus that many times. And I personally sincerely believe that the whatever the harmony in the Western country is, image of the Western country is that we all love to live in the Western country, we all love to uh, get education over there, to have a job over there, have a livelihood over there, this allurement actually comes from these three words. They use these three words so often that it, it creates fraternity, it creates harmony, it creates a love and affection, it creates, creates a closeness, it actually melts away all kinds of malice, it melts away all kinds of, all kinds of hostility, all kinds of distrust, all kinds of racism. These three words are the most important words that Western countries use frequently and that is why their societies are absolutely different than the Asian or African or Latin American societies. And these three words are very, very, very mundane, very simple. And these are, first word is please, second is thanks, third is sorry. I don't know what is the reason. It is our ignorance or our arrogance. It is our obstinacy or it is our vanity. Oh, this is the way we are, that we don't want to say thank you. Why should I say thank you? Like, why should I say please? And why should I say sorry? And this, that. Absolutely, absolutely useless, redundant vanity. We call it mitya abhiman. We don't have anything. Still, we are arrogant. We are uptight. We have chips on our shoulder. And that is the reason that we never say please. Now, if I elaborate this word, please word if I elaborate, then look, if you say please, anyone, he or she may be your worst adversary or worst enemy or maybe the worst hostile person on this planet. By saying please, that person is going to become mellow. This person is going to become humble. This person is going to smile at you. This person is going to begin to love, begin to love you, begin to create the rapport, begin to create the ties with you, and he's going to be pal with you, he's going to be friend with you because you just said please. I guarantee you that America would have said Please, to Kim of North Korea, or America would say please to Iranian leaders, or please to Russian Putin or Xi Jinping of China, I definitely guarantee you, absolutely positively, I am quite guarantee you that these people are definitely going to bow their heads to Biden. But Biden is also very obstinate, full of shitty vanity. Why should I say sorry and why should I say that please? 
Please world can change everything to 360 degrees. 360 degrees can change. Enemy can become friend. Four can become friend. Frenemy can become friend. And the worst person can become our Paul. And all the malice, all the bitterness, all the hatred, every single thing that we have been harboring in our heart for anyone will be gone. One, one word, please. Second is thanks. When we say thanks, we are not losing a thing, not even an iota, not even an, an iota or jewel energy. But benefits are galore, benefits galore. Thanks, when you say thanks to someone, that means uh, you open one more door in your life for any kind of help you want. Say, for example, I say, thank you, my neighbor, for helping us. The neighbor would always be there to help us. Now this neighbor is going to help us without asking for it. Neighbor will become friendly. Neighbor will become our, our very close associate. He's going to cooperate with us. He's going to collaborate with us. He's going to assist us in every single matter. And he's going to take care of us. Because first time we say thanks. And as soon as you th say thanks, that person is going to do every single thing for you next time. The thanks is going to open his heart for us. And when the person says thanks, his heart is also opened to the heart of the person whom you say thanks. So thank is the word which actually opens two hearts. So why not say thank you? Every single time if someone just to give us a smile, say thanks. If someone asks us, how are you? Say thanks. If someone asks you, you want to drink a water? Say thanks. Even if you don't want it, say no. Thanks. Third world is sorry. Now all the animosity, all the hostility, all the, you know, dushmani we call it in our vernacular language, can wipe out, can melt away, can be gone. Only by saying sorry. If you have, God forbid, bad relation with someone for, for say, a decade or for two decades, 20, 30 years you have been enemy, but one day you just say, I'm sorry, I want to be your friend. Gone. Every single thing is gone from his heart or her heart. So sorry world has so much power and so much force, so much potential that Biden and the Putin can be very good close friends that they can eat from the same hamburger by saying sorry. If Putin says Biden is sorry or Biden uh, says sorry in reverse, then both are going to be the buddy buddy for lifetime. Chummy relation can be created only by saying this one word. Five letter word, the sorry, but so powerful word that even <clears throat> God in many religions says that do whatever the bad things you want to do. Violate all my tenets, violate all my laws. But when you are going to feel guilty about it and you come to me and you say, God, I am sorry. Even God has promised that I am going to wipe out all your sins. I'm going to be your friend. I'm going to take you under my wings because you say it's sorry. Same thing God says, that whatever I provide you and if you say thanks, I'm going to provide you more. There's God's promise in Quran, in Islamic scripture. God says if you eat something and you say, God, thank you very much for giving me this, I'm going to give you more and I'm going to give you better. So you see that? Even God appreciate thanks. But only the problem is with us, with us, the Indians and the Pakistanis and the most of the Asian, African and the Latin American, that we are too arrogant. We are too obstinate. We are too narrow-minded. We are too egoistic, full of vanity, full of ignorance full of ignoramus. 
suffering from ignorantia syndrome. I don't understand. Why don't we understand this? That by being so obstinate and so arrogant, we are actually missing out to the best things of our life. And the best things of our life can stem from, come from, emerge from these three worlds. Now you know, you listen, and if you can chuck away your vanity and your ego and your stupidity and your foolishness and your arrogance and your ignorance, then adopt this. Say more frequently, please. Thanks and sorry, and it is going to definitely change your life 360 degrees. Try it, and you're going to believe me. So that's all the time we have. Thank you very much for listening. God bless everyone on this planet during this sacred days of Diwali. Amen.